Today, I have prepared for you the TELP 15 puzzles based on physics. I am sure that you will definitely find something interesting for yourself. I will be glad to like and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy watching. Adorable Witch 3 is an addictive puzzle game. Welcome to Magic Academy, where you have to help beautiful witches and elves pass special academic tests. To a greater extent, all tests will be reduced to puzzles, where you need to control various mechanisms on the level. The player must destroy the stone tablets in the scene in order to direct the clear water to the seeds, allowing the seeds to grow so that the witches can obtain the flowers. You also need to make sure that the water is not contaminated by evil spirits. In general, you will find a good puzzle game filled with erotic two-dimensional pictures of Anon girls. Little Witch in the Woods is a fantasy role-playing game developed by independent South Korean studio Sunny Side Up, a pixel RPG about the witch Ellie in which the player has to complete tasks, collect ingredients and craft potions, and develop their settlement. The game is made in Anim style and looks very attractive. The main character Ellie finds herself in a real wilderness, in a forest near a tiny village. Here she must become a real sorceress, practice potions, explore a mysterious forest full of secrets, and learn how to fish. But at the same time, she will have to restore the village so that as many inhabitants as possible gather in it. Exciting adventures in a fantasy world await you. Get ready to meet a lot of unusual creatures, brew incredible potions, take part in all kinds of activities, and make friends with various characters with the witch Ellie. Greek Memories of Azur is a side-scrolling action-adventure platformer. You will take on the role of three brothers and sisters, the Greek, Adara, and Rydal, who will guide them through the lands of Azur. You will alternate control between them and use their unique abilities to avoid the Erlag invasion. Greek is the protagonist of the game and the youngest of the trio. He is a member of the magical Korean race that the Erlag faction is trying to take over. Their confrontation has been going on for a long time, and the Korean begin to flee their lands. Greek must find his brother Radel and sister Adara to build an airship with them and leave Azur. During the game, you will meet each of them under various circumstances, and then they will join you and help you on your further journey. For the adventure genre, controlling multiple characters at the same time is not exactly a unique idea, but rather rare. This, of course, is about games designed for one person. One of the most memorable projects of this kind in recent years is Brothers, a tale of two sons in which the minimalism of game mechanics made it possible to harmoniously implement such a single co-op. Great. Memories of Azer is trying to make you play a full-fledged platformer with several different characters at the same time, in the manner of the old The Lost Vikings. Evan's Remains is a detective thriller adventure about the search for a missing boy, Evan. The game combines logic platform puzzles with storytelling inspired by Japanese graphic adventure games. The main character is a girl named Dissis. She sailed to a desert island in search of Evan, a child prodigy, thanks to which human technology has stepped far ahead. But suddenly the guy disappears without a trace, and after a while he sends the coordinates of the island with a request to send Dissus to search for him. Exploring the island, we find large stone structures, monoliths with puzzle platforms, built by an ancient civilization. Swimming past them on the water is bad for makeup, and going around the jungle is just boring, so for fun, the girl climbs each monolith in search of clues. The puzzles themselves are not difficult, there is hardly one that will make you sit longer than five minutes. Most are solved on the second, if not the first, attempt, and this is captivating. After each monolith, the brain says, well, let's go through one more, because it knows for sure that it will cope with it and it will bring pleasure. The game takes on the complex topic of life and death, but does so with ease. Basically, due to the fact that the whole plot is presented in small portions in the form of dialogues and the game has no voice acting, at the end, the focus shifts from gameplay to story. The duration of the inserts is increased, and the number of puzzles is reduced. The full passage will take about three hours, and this is if you sometimes get stuck near the monoliths. Heiku, the robot. This is a pixel Metroidvania in a post-apocalyptic world populated by crazy robots and machines. The developer took inspiration from Hollow Knight. 2D graphics and a distinctive art style await you. Building the world, 
researching, obtaining abilities, and fighting bosses is also done according to the canons of the genre. You have to explore the mechanical world inhabited by crazy robots and insane mechanisms. According to the story, the players have to take control of a small robot that has fallen into the world of distraught mechanical creatures. The protagonist will have to explore it, fight crowds of enemies, and solve puzzles. Hull is an indie side-scrolling platformer with puzzle elements. Ho takes place in a fictional world of small creatures, faced with an incomprehensible threat in the face of hostile mechanisms. Our heroine, wrapped in a strip of red fabric and somewhat reminiscent of a bell, comes to her senses on a leaf canoe, which moors to the shore of a place she once knew. Now it is filled with hostile robots, striving to kick the protagonist who has turned up under their feet a few meters to the side, this is the worst thing that can happen to you in the game. The gameplay of Hull is extremely simple. We are invited to move through colorful levels from one point to another, collecting butterflies and activating stars to get the opportunity to chat with another bizarre creature. The player is introduced to all the mechanics gradually, without overloading him with unnecessary information. Although they introduce, this is an exaggeration. We spend most of the game doing things that are found in almost every platform game. This short story with simple gameplay and beautiful visuals is literally designed so that you can sit in front of the computer for a couple of hours and go through it in one sitting, even without rushing. Strange Horticulture is a mystical puzzle game about a shop of mysterious plants. The action takes place in the town of Undermere, on one of the streets of which the mysterious plant store is located. The protagonist inherited the store from his late uncle, and he will have to understand the intricacies of the flora together with the player. The gameplay is a set of a mass of original visual text puzzles. Often residents of the town visit our shop, and, as a rule, they need this or that plant to solve their problems. Very rarely, and only in the final stages of the game, they will eat elixirs to brew. In case of an incorrect solution to the puzzle and, accordingly, the choice of the end point of the route, we will have to rethink what the game wanted from us and wait until we gain strength for a new journey. You can speed up the set of energy by watering the plants from a watering can. If a critical number of errors is accumulated in solving regular quests, then the game day rolls back and offers to solve a penalty puzzle. After the end of the main plot, it will be possible to redefine the plants that were not classified during the game and to brew unbrewed potions. Ib and Ob is a two-player co-op game set in a puzzle-filled world where gravity works in two directions. Indie developers Sparkweed have created an unusual world divided into two parts, where one trait changes gravity and makes players so close and so far. Only a united team can achieve success. You can either play with a friend sitting on the couch at home or find a partner online. Fall up and jump down through 15 levels filled with double-gravity puzzles. Find eight hidden worlds that will be a real test for your new skills that work against the laws of Newton. Each level has its own unique melody, composed by Kethel, a recognized author of warm melodic electronic music. Carto is an extraordinary adventure game built around a unique world-changing puzzle game. Locations consist of blocks, and the player can change their places at his discretion. You can use this power to better explore the mysterious lands help Cardo's new friends on the way home. The game world is made up of different biomes, each with its own characters, culture, and unique gameplay mechanics. The storm took little Carto away from her grandmother, and now the little one will have to use her map-building skills and literally adjust the world around her in order to return home. On your way, you will discover new pieces of the world map, use them and build game levels yourself, where new paths, puzzles, and meetings await you. In this man-made journey, Cardo will have to travel through strange lands, study their history and, of course, make new friends and help them. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion is a casual top-down action-adventure game in which you will find a very unusual story revolving around a real turnip. The events of the game take place in a world in which all the inhabitants are living vegetables, just like in the fairy tale about Cipollino. Well, you will have to play the role of a real turnip in this world, who lived her life for a long time and did not worry about anything until she was evicted from her house for debts. 
Now you, in the role of that same turnip, will have to travel around the local world and try to get money to pay off all the debts to Mayor Lukov. But it will not be easy to do this, and it is not easy to get money here. You will have to work hard. The game itself here is quite simply arranged and does not require any special skills, but at the same time, literally from the first minutes, it captivates with itself. Well, first of all, it captivates with the atmosphere and plot. For example, this game captivates with a variety of characters with whom you will have to communicate during the passage. You will have a huge open world at your disposal, through which you can travel at your own pleasure. Here you will visit different locations, pass various tests, complete tasks, and do much more. By the way, the tasks in Turnip Boy commits tax evasion are also very diverse. Somewhere you will have to water the plantings, and somewhere you will even have to fight with a pig. There are really many options. Embark on a journey with the homeless turnip, which the evil Murluck kicked out of the house, complete numerous tasks, earn money, have fun, fight, pass challenges, and just enjoy the adventure. Webbed is an amazing platform game that tells about the adventures of a spider who set off to rescue his friend from the clutches of a bird. The game takes place with a side view, where the spider will travel around the world and use his web to overcome obstacles and get out of dangerous situations. All that is required is to use the web correctly in order to create the most effective paths. The story of the game is as follows. A pair of cute spiders spend time on their web, when suddenly a bowerbird arrives and takes the male spider with it. All due to the fact that bowerbirds love to collect blue pebbles, and the beloved spider has an abdomen of just that color. The goal of the player will be to show sufficient dexterity, accuracy, ability to use the web, and most importantly, ingenuity. For example, you can attach a pipe element by slowly dragging it with a web, you can do it with a swoop, swinging on a web, or you can just do something incomprehensible, shoot a laser in all directions and succeed. The game provides space, freedom of action, a world of insects with familiar inhabitants, bees collecting pollen led by their queen, soldier ants, dung beetles always praising their favorite dung, as well as flies, spiders, and others. They will give you assignments. While exploring dangerous thickets, you can rely only on your web and wit. Master the art of web weaving to reach your goal. Braid the whole world with a web. Ultimate Chicken Horse is a multiplayer competitive platformer video game developed and published by Canadian studio Clever Endeavor Games. Team-based platformer Ultimate Chicken Horse lets you create levels while you play with your friends and set deadly traps on your way to the finish line at the same time. If you make it to the end of a level and your friends don't, you'll get points. Play with your pet buddies online or LAN and experiment with a wide variety of locations and gadgets to have fun with your friendly company. There are several types of animals to choose from for you and three more comrades, a chicken, a horse, a sheep, a cunning raccoon, and other animals. Your goal is to be the first to reach the end of the location, avoiding all sorts of traps that your opponents will instruct. Pets will help you with this. They can jump, run fast, jump far, and even move along the walls. In addition, you yourself can complicate the life of opponents, just throwing traps around you. The one who reaches the finish line first will receive one bonus point. The game will continue until someone scores five points. For each victory, players will receive bonuses. Their traps will become more deadly and will kill other players on the spot. The very platform on which the battles take place is quite extensive and makes it possible to act freely. True, it is filled with traps by default. Trampolines, spikes, guns, black holes. With a good group of friends, Ultimate Chicken Horse turns into a fun and interesting game that doesn't require wins. This game has an interesting block building system and a lot of fun, sometimes turning into madness. Inside is a puzzle platform game developed and published by the independent Danish studio Playdid. Inside combines elements of platforming and puzzle. This is a side-scroller in which the movement takes place in one plane and the player watches what is happening from the side. The protagonist of the game, a nameless and unarmed boy, must avoid various dangers throughout the game, and in particular, must not let the enemies catch or kill him. If the opposite happens, the game shows a frightening animated death of the hero. One of the key mechanics in the game is remote control of the lifeless bodies of other people. For example, 
Some puzzles must be solved by moving a group of such characters at once. Inside has a chic minimalist style with a noir touch. Despite this, the graphics are made at a fairly high level, and divine animations give what is happening on the screen realism. Thanks to this style, there was no need to overly detail both the characters and the world around, and this does not spoil the picture in any way. The plot is not directly explained throughout the game, which has given rise to many conjectures and theories trying to explain what is happening on the screen. Just like with Limbo, Pladeid's previous game, the developers declined to provide an explanation. URIS is a platform game developed by Spanish independent developer Nomada Studio and published by Devolver Digital. URIS is a simple platform game, by and large, it is a contemplative game. It is impossible to die here, even despite the appearance in some episodes of monsters hunting the heroine. There are no particularly difficult gameplay puzzles and jumping tasks, but there are some very interesting game mechanics associated with the transformation of the main character's dress, which can turn Gris into an unbearable load that breaks through obstacles, into an elegant bird, or into a fast-moving fish. Gris can be played by analyzing each symbol, trying to find the hidden meaning that the creators of the game put into each image. There is a huge scope for interpretation, and everyone will find something of their own in the game, responding to the emotions experienced by the player himself. And you can go through the game without really thinking about its meaning, but simply enjoying the amazing picture and music, shapes, halftones, and harmonies. After all, GRIS is a great example of a game as a work of art, and this is probably its main value. The game is painted by the Spanish artist Conrad Roset in a very characteristic manner, using watercolors and a felt-tip pen. As the girl returns to her world the main colors, red, green, blue, yellow, it comes to life and blossoms with new game mechanics. Celeste is a platform game developed by Matt Makes Games and more specifically by two of its employees, Maddie Thorson and Noel Berry. Matt Thorson, Towerfall, and Noel Berry, Skytorn, prototyped the game in four days during Game Jam, resulting in a 30-level platformer. Killscreen noted that the game was a departure from Thorson's past work, Towerfall, and had more in common with the game mechanics of their older games in Super Mario Maker. The developers also drew inspiration from challenging SNES-era platformers like Super Mario Bros. Barry and Thorson developed the game as a standalone release with over 200 rooms divided into eight chapters. The game was showcased at the 2016 PAX West Indie Mega Booth. Players will have to control a girl named Madeline as she climbs a mountain, avoiding various deadly obstacles. Along with jumping and wall climbing for a limited time, Madeline has the ability to perform an aerial dash in eight cardinal and intercardinal directions. This move can only be performed once and is reset by landing on the ground or hitting special refill crystals or by moving to a new screen. Each level has additional mechanics, springs that give extra momentum, feathers that allow short flight, and deadly objects such as spikes that instantly kill Madeline, returning her to the beginning of the room. Players can also access an assist mode where they can change the game's difficulty settings. Some of them include endless dashes, invulnerability, or slowing down the speed of the game time. Celeste is a very uplifting game. In it, you involuntarily read between the lines. Each of us has the inner strength to change our lives. The main thing is to take the first step. After passing, it becomes light in the soul, as after reading a good book, although, it would seem, he just played a platform game, in which there is not so much text. The game received many prestigious awards from gaming publications, and some even awarded it the title of Game of the Year. Celeste is the winner of the 22nd Annual Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences Awards for Best Action Game and Outstanding Achievement in Independent Development. Write in the comments which game do you like more? And what selection of games to make next time?